Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. This is Not Perfect Zen, and day 23 of the Inktober Tangles for 2021. And if you've been watching these, um, you may notice that my <laughs> patterns on here have increased. I was talking to a friend last night and while we chatted, I um, added a couple more tangles to the front. All right, this is day 23 and the pattern is called Plea A. I believe that's how that's pronounced. And it's by Apple Lim and she is a CCT. And this is a pretty pattern. It's based on a heart shape and um, it's easy to do. And these are two of the basic uh, ways that Apple does it. Um, and she tends to put flux at the bottom of each of her patterns. So I went ahead and put it on this one. And then of course the shading that you do makes a lot of difference. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you by doing it on my tile. This is a four inch wide by four and a half inch tall tile that I cut myself. I'm gonna use a Micron 01, a graphite pencil, and a blending stump. Okay, um, I kept trying to come up with some creative ways to do this, but I just don't know what I could do other than basically what she has already shown. So the way that she starts this is with like a, a C curve. Okay, and then we're gonna make a line that touches the tip there. And here we're gonna bring it around to kind of a heart shape. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And I, I turned mine upside down because this is the easiest way to try to get mine to match fairly evenly. Okay, so those are the first two steps. That and your little heart shapes on each side. Okay, and then she has an aura that comes around and it meets where that C shape ended there. We're gonna do the same thing on both sides. Okay. And then she puts kind of like a half moon or another C shape there. And then where your little initial smile, let's call it that, came across, we're gonna come around at another aura and it meets at the tip and then and turn mine upside down and do the same thing. And again, it's gonna come around and meet right there. The next thing is she adds an aura below your initial C shape. And then we're gonna come down about where this was and make a curve, another curved line that comes down here to the tip. And then about halfway through here, we're gonna do that again. And then bring that down again. Okay, so this is the basic pattern. And 
everything after that is just shading and adding anything else that you want to put within this. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to add orbs here in the center. When you want to run out of room, then just part of it. Always turning your tile to be comfortable with the way that you're drawing. My orbs are not all perfectly even, and that doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go in and add. Uh, ink in these open spaces here on both sides of these orbs. And I'm going to do this one the way that she has the step out done. And she has shading in this center one, and it's pretty dark. Um, so I'm gonna add hatching here. It's hard for me to tell from her step out if she just added really heavy graphite or if she added the hatching. But I like adding hatching, so I'm gonna do that. And on each of these, I'm going to have it curve around a little bit. And then we're going to come back and add shading on top of this. If you happen to find that your pen isn't writing very well, I used to always just kind of turn my pen a little bit and see if I got better ink flow. And a lot of times that helps. Okay, now I'm going to turn and do the same thing. I like to pull my pen toward me when I'm doing that hatching. So that's why I am turning my tile. And I think this pen might be running out of ink, but uh, I'm trying to make it work. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how we would shade this one. So with a graphite pencil, I'm going to add pretty heavy shading right up here at the top of each of these. And also down here. And then with my blending stump, I'm just going to soften that. And I'm going to keep the very center of these white for that nice highlight look.
Okay, so that leaves us kind of a sparkle there in the center. And I'm going to add graphite on the center of each of these. And then a little bit heavier up here on top. I'm going to work this similar to the way I do when I'm making it look similar to a gemstone. Okay, and again, I'm leaving just a little bit of a sparkle, a white space in the center here. And on this, I'm going to gently soften it with what's left on my tortillon. I'm going to bring that up a little bit on each side and then leave a white spot there in the center. And again, with what's left on my blending stump, or you could come back and add a little bit more. I think I will add just a little bit more graphite just on the very edge here. And here. And then soften it. Okay, so that is a basic way to do this. I'm going to put another one here. So I'm going to start with my little smile. Add a heart shape. I'm going to try doing this one without turning it upside down. Oh, bring that one around. Not exactly even, but it's okay. Um, then we're going to add our R that comes around here and here and then we have the arc that goes across here Our auras on each side that meet right here at that same point. And then again, I'm going to come down to this point and here. And I'm going to add another aura on each side of these. And I haven't done this before, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. I didn't see a lot of different ideas for this. So this one is just hoping. <laughs> that this is going to look good. Okay. Our other little aura in here. I'm going to fill that in. Okay, and then one more on each side, on this side. OK, 
Okay. And I am going to add another one here. And again, I have not seen one done this way. I just thought I would try it. And this is why you see such a nice variety of patterns because people just kind of play with it. Hmm. I think it's going to need it on the outside too. Let's just do it. And if you had like a graphic one or something like that, you could do that. But I'm just going to use my Micron 01. And hope this is pretty well <laughs> finished. So you might want to fast forward and see if you like it before you do it. I do that many times on videos that I'm watching on a new pattern or a new tile. I don't um, do my videos in fast motion or high speed, whatever you want to call it, because I don't enjoy watching a video that way. I would rather have the option to speed it up myself. Okay, I'm going to come in here and just add like little fescues in the center of each of these. And I'm going to fill those in, except for the very top. Give that a little highlight. Sorry, I hope that didn't go off the screen. I'm going to try hatching here on each side of this. You know, whenever you find a pattern, just play with it. Like I've said many times, it's just paper and pen and this is Inktober, and it's a challenge to draw each day and come up with new ideas based on the patterns that you've already seen. Okay, I'm going to put shading at the bottom of this. And... I just realized I didn't put that second line, but that's okay.
I think what I might do before I get any further is just make this a little bit darker. Okay, I think that helps. And again, just add some shading and put a little bit of shading in side of this that matches that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do like I did on that other one and add that kind of heavy up here, a little bit of shading in the bottom. And now I'm going to soften it. And on this one, I just barely pull that down so that we can leave that nice highlight that goes all the way across here. Okay, that one's definitely different. I'm gonna do one more over here. So here's our C. and start our heart shape. And this time I'm gonna turn it over. I think I do better that way. Bring it around. Okay. And then we do another one that meets there. There at our top, and then at our aura on this side, and another aura on this side, and this time I'm going to remember to put my Stripe here. Okay. And for this one, I'm going to actually use my graphic one. Anything that you have with a thicker tip. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this one in because that is also one of the ways that. Apple did one of hers. And it's just so much easier to fill in a space this big if you have like a graphic one. Okay. Now we're gonna put our two lines down here to the center. And again, I think my pen is running out of ink, so it's not very dark. And then I'm gonna do that again over here. And here, okay. And in this center part, I'm going to add just lines going down. You could fill in every other line 
for striping, but I'm going to leave it like that. Do the same thing here. Hard to believe I'm on day 23. And I have had comments asking why I'm uploading these so early. And I just know that some people like to get an early start and practice before they actually do their tiles and upload them onto social media on the actual day for the pattern. Okay, so there's another option. I think I'm going to, on this one, add another line and add some more stripes up here. Kind of reminds me of a pendant. Okay. Inside here, I'm going to aura inside of it and fill that in. Same thing over here. I'll redefine my line a little bit there. Okay. So let's add some shading to that one. So for this, I'm going to add my graphite on the inside of each of these where I've added these stripes. <laughs> A bit of shading around this. And then my shading on the inside. And a little bit on the edges of these hearts. Okay, with my blending stump. I'm going to soften this, but I want to leave this area in the center white. Kind of hard to add much on that one because it's not very wide, but there we go. There's three different ideas for doing plie A by Apple Lynn. I did want to show you what I practiced earlier. This is with a brown pen. 
And this is similar to one that I found from uh, Apple. She did one similar to that. Okay, so there we go. There is plie. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped give you some ideas on what you can do with this pattern. Thank you again for joining me. And I hope you have a good day. I hope that you're well. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Let your friends know that um, these videos are here. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.